George Floyd killed, murdered. A senseless tragedy for him and his family. Amud Abri, Riona Taylor, Yolanda Castile, Sandra Bland, Freddie Gray, Michael Brown, Eric Gardner, Tamir Rice, Trayvon Martin, all killed. All black Americans, predominantly male black Americans, all of whom should be alive today. I, like you, like Laurie, am outraged, sad, frustrated and angry. Companies like ours must speak up as allies to the Black Lives Matter movement. We stand with those seeking justice and equality. Reality is that there is still a wound in the fabric of America, a wound that is not just not healed, but is being reopened. Racism. It begets violence and it begets death. It's nearly 30 years since the video of Rodney King being beaten by police officers shocked the world. At that time, we spoke out. Roberta Goizueta, then chairman and CEO of the Coca-Cola company, said at an event, defending justice, creating economic opportunity, and ensuring quality education is more than a noble cause. It is our duty. Nothing we value, our families, homes, and businesses are safe in the face, face of oppression, poverty, and ignorance. It is our duty. Now with George Floyd's death, I've been reflecting on our duty to black people in America. Simply put, America has not made enough progress. Corporate America has not made enough progress. And the Coca-Cola company has not made enough progress. As a nation, as individuals, we must do better. Businesses like ours can play an important role. As a company that believes diversity and inclusion are among our greatest strengths, we must put our resources and energy toward helping end the cycle of systemic racism. The company is not perfect. It's done great things, things to be proud of, from the emblematic to the sustained, from celebrating Dr. Martin Luther King through being the first to have African Americans in advertising to providing leaders to work on desegregation, to education, to South Africa, to recently to the refranchising to two new African-American entrepreneur owned US bottlers, one of whom, Troy Taylor, is with us today. And we've made mistakes, including a grave one, with the largest discrimination lawsuit in US history in 1999-2000. And as the judge said, our biggest issue was not that we made mistakes and that there were individual cases, but that when we knew we didn't act to remedy and improve things. We don't have all the answers, but I believe that we together, with civic and community advocates, government officials, fellow business leaders, our partners, and with the views and voices of those who challenge injustice, we can find solutions. Our efforts will focus on four main areas, listening, leading, investing, and advocating. Firstly, listening. We believe our company and our brands have the power to drive change. And we wanna get this right. In order to make progress for those that have been hurt by systemic racism, we need first to listen. We have ideas. We've received ideas from you, the employees, but we know that this is only the beginning. There are more ideas. That's why we're spending time to listen to you, the employees, and seeking out your input on meaningful actions we can take both internally and externally. We will seek out the voices and expertise of community leaders and social justice advocates to inform our actions.
and we will continue to use multiple forms to continue to listen to further the, act, further the actions that we need to take to lead, invest and advocate. But just on a few thoughts. Firstly, leading. As a company, we need internally to be an example for corporate America and society overall. Otherwise, what platform do we have to lead from? We need to take multiple actions. We will do many things. Some of those are clear. We need to renew the mandatory diversity and inclusion training. Also, the company donated the land and helped set up the National Center for Civil and Human Rights here in Atlanta, right next to the world of Coke. But how many of us have actually visited it? We all need to go and spend some time there. It's four years since we had our first Standards One conversation following a similar death. Taking one measure, representation of African Americans as a percent of our US employees, we've made mixed progress. In total numbers, we're up three points to 19% ahead of the overall country. But in leadership positions, grade 14 plus, we are flat at a poor 7%. We need to be more effective in making progress. So we're appointing leaders in our business to drive the development and implementation of additional actions. Investing. We will invest our resources to advance social justice causes. We will use the voices of our brands to weigh in on important social conversations. For example, today, we are announcing two and a half million dollars in grants from the Coca-Cola Foundation for the Equal Justice Initiative to assist advocates and policymakers in critically important work of criminal justice reform. The NAACP Legal Defense Fund in support of the policing reform campaign and the National Center for Civil and Human Rights to deliver a platform to bring people together for powerful conversations that matter and inspire social change and their current campaign for equal dignity. In addition, we will match employee donations to these initiatives as well as contributions to the 100 Black Men of America and the National Cares Mentoring Movement starting with me. Lastly, advocating together with our bottling system, we will work through our business network to support change and embrace policies that matter, starting with publicly supporting legislation to advance a hate crimes law in Georgia. We will also continue to support collective action and pledges across the business community, such as the Business Roundtable, the Atlanta Committee for Progress and CEO Action for Diversity and Inclusion. And there will be more to be done. At times, this will be challenging and uncomfortable. And it will require courage, humility, dedication and reflection. Our pledge as a company is that we do our part to listen, to learn and to act. Coca-Cola is committed to making a difference in our communities and within our company by mobilizing our history of advancing civil rights and by rallying the strength of our employees, families and friends. Our company must play a visible and proactive role in creating the change that is desperately needed. More progress must be made. It is our duty. Thank you.